Hello friends, Zachary Stockhill here from RetroactiveJealousy.com and in today's video I'm going to talk about what you should do if you think you're bad at meditation. Before I get started I'll just mention that if you've been enjoying these videos you'd like me to keep doing this, please take a moment to let me know by clicking the like button below and making sure you're subscribed to my channel. As many of you probably know I'm a big advocate for meditation. I write about meditation in my guidebook Overcoming Retroactive Jealousy. I include a number of guided meditations and demonstrations and information about meditations in my online course Get Over Your Partner's Past Fast. I talk about meditation on this channel. I'm a big fan of meditation. I've done a number of meditation retreats and I've been meditating off and on since I was I think 16 or 17, something like that. I'm a big fan of meditation. In my view, one of the main things that I think people get wrong about meditation is they assume or presume that meditation is about experiencing this zen-like blissful state of complete peace, complete tranquility, complete mental nothingness. You know, they picture monks up in the Himalayas meditating peacefully on the side of a mountain somewhere with a completely calm mind and they imagine that that's what meditation is about. Now, as I've said in other videos, meditation is about many different things to many different people. I'm not trying to present myself as the be-all, end-all expert on meditation. However, I believe, and many others believe, that meditation is not about attaining some zen-like blissful state of absolute mental nothingness. Those moments can certainly happen if you meditate over a long period of time. However, in my view, meditation is about simply planting your behind on a seat or on a pillow on a cushion on the floor and actually making the attempt, actually carving out time for it, actually saying to yourself, this is important. My brain needs a rest. I need to incorporate this technique into my life and I'm going to prioritize this. I'm going to make time for this whenever I can. I often tell people that I guarantee that even the Dalai Lama still probably has horrible meditation sessions. I've had meditation sessions where your worst thoughts and fears are racing in your brain and you're physically uncomfortable and you're thinking to yourself, why the hell am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? This is a waste of time, blah, 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 blah. Meditation is not always fun. Meditation is not always a calming experience. In fact, I've had some really, I wouldn't say traumatic, but some pretty intense experiences in meditation retreats where all the sort of underbelly, the dark underbelly of your psyche sort of starts rising to the surface and you're exposed to a lot of things that you haven't thought about in years. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is meditation is not about necessarily some blissful state of inner peace. Meditation is about making the effort. In my view, a good meditator is simply someone who is consistent, who actually makes the time to do it, who cultivates that habit, that routine over a long period of time. So if you feel like you're a bad meditator, and I get these emails all the time from students taking my course or sometimes coaching clients, I, I understand. You know, we've all had very frustrating experiences of meditation. I've certainly felt like maybe I'm a bad meditator, a bad meditator in certain moments because I wasn't as peaceful as I thought I was supposed to be, because I wasn't feeling as blissful as I hoped I'd feel. But that's not what meditation's about. It's about gaining perspective on our crazy monkey-like brain. It's about being able to detach from thoughts that aren't serving us. It's about getting an, a new perspective on our endless inner monologue and attaining some clarity around that and just realizing how messed up our inner monologue often is. So if you feel like you're a bad meditator simply because you're not always feeling peaceful, don't worry. <laughs> you're not a bad meditator. For my money, if you're actually planting your behind on a seat or on a cushion on the floor and you're actually making time to do it, you are a good meditator. And the more you cultivate this routine, it's like going to the gym. If you go to the gym once, you're not going to be ripped the next day. You're not going to be in amazing shape the next day. It's about cultivating the habit. It's about making the time consistently over a long period of time. That's what it's really about. And it's a technique that gets more and more and more and more rewarding the more you do it. It's like a bank account. The more you invest, you'll get interest on that investment and those dividends will simply accrue over time because over time you'll cultivate an even stronger ability to detach from thoughts which aren't serving you, which any retroactive jealousy sufferer can tell you is a very, very valuable skill. In short, don't worry if you feel like you're bad at meditation. You're probably not. And for my money, if you're actually making time to do it, that's the first step toward becoming a good meditator, if we can use these terms.
Thanks for watching this video. If you found this useful or interesting in some way, please be sure to click the like button below. Have a look in the description of this video if you'd like more information about my products or services. I'll be talking to you again very soon.